Hi everyone, it's Carol here from the Stamping Ground of Cloud UK and today I'm making this supersized uh, gift bag, a Christmas one and it measures 5 by 2 by a whopping 9 inch um, in height which is great for lots of um, lots of our Christmas gifts, a lovely scarf for gloves a book, there's all sorts uh, that can, uh, toiletries, I'm sure you'll think of um, lots of things to put in it. I will put all the measurements over on my blog in both Imperial and Metric, so don't worry about uh, trying to write all these down. My blog is thestampingground.co.uk, but you will find it in the description bar below as well. And the designer series paper I've used is the Peaceful Cabin, which is a beautiful um, set. And for anybody uh, who's used, who has it will um, know exactly what I mean. So I need two pieces of the designer series paper measuring 9 by 11. I'm just trying to get this so that you can um, see everything. There. So on the short side, we're going to score it two inch and seven inch. And then we're going to turn it round and on the long side, we're going to score at nine. Oops. And we're going to do that on uh, both pieces. It's also a nice, uh, easy bag to make as well. So you can whip a lot of these up um, ready for your Christmas gifts. So now that's our scoring done. So now we just need to fold and burnish all our score lines. A little bit difficult to see on this shiny um, silvery paper. You must have a look at these, uh, this designer series paper. It's all in greys, whites and kind of silvery um colors but it's it really is um a lovely paper and don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my uh channel and you won't miss any of um of the projects that i'm making and if you hit the bell then it will it, it will inform you uh, when i have um, done a project so now we just need to i've missed I've missed a score, a uh, burnish a score line here. I told you it was difficult to see on this uh, on this paper. Right, I think we're ready now. I'll turn it over on this side so you can see uh, better. So we're just going to cut up this score line. And then we're just going to notch out on each side you can see the camera you can see on the camera how um how lovely and shiny it is now on this piece we're going to cut these two squares out we don't need these at all and i think this is the first video for about a week or so because i've been adding some uh storage to my craft room and I've also um, taken the carpet up and put uh, a wooden floor down and I think you can hear it on, um, on the video it sounds a little bit hollow at the moment right so that's all our uh, scoring and cutting done and we're now going to uh, put this together so we now need to attach that panel onto the top of this one. So I'm just going to add some liquid glue. If you have tear and tape or um, the, I can't think of the name now, stamp and seal, that's what I was thinking. Uh, you can use that as well. But if you use the liquid glue, you do have uh, time to move it 
so just go over with your bone folder to make sure it's uh, not, it's stuck down uh, properly. So we now need to do the same on the opposite side. So again, just add a small amount of glue, a little bit down the middle. And it should line up perfectly. There we are. So now we need to close the bottom and again we're just going to add glue um, to this. And then that will be our um, bag finished. I told you it was, um, it was nice and easy. Then just add glue to this flap. And there we are. I'm just going to pop a ruler in and just, just give it a little press. And then all you need to do is just squeeze either side, just give it a little um, help down the side just to, to bend slightly. And we're just going to add um, a silver sparkly yeah, clip at the top. I can't remember where I bought these from. Um, possibly uh, the range, I'm not really sure, but lots of places like that um, will have these, this sort of clip. So we'll just pop this to one side and we shall get on with our tag for it. This punch that I'm using for the tag is called Delight the Delightful Tag Topper. It has three different sizes um, of tags to cut out and the, the largest one is two inch wide. So I've cut this at two inch by six inch and just pop it in and, um, and punch and you've got a lovely, lovely tag. So you can make um, lots of tags for Christmas, uh, nice, quick and easy, which is uh, what we want at this time of year. So I've just cut up the middle and I'm just cutting a V out just for a little bit more interest. If you want to keep it straight, then that's fine. I'm using the scalloped contour dies. Um, and as you can see, there are lots of oblong uh, dies. There's a couple of uh, flowers. Um, and the oblong dies, they're great for on, on cards, using for tags and all sorts of things. I use them a lot. I'm going to use this um, third size and I'm going to cut this out in smoky slate. So I'll be back in just two minutes. So here we are. Now we're going to cut our poinsettia out. And for that, I'm using the poinsettia petal stamp set. Lots of um, leaves, berries um, and a full poinsettia and then single uh, pieces. And here's the poinsettia dies that match. We also get in uh, three of the poinsettias and two holly leaves. There's an embosser as well. So you can use just the embosser and um, the actual die cut around the edge. I use this one um, a lot for in, in different foliage arrangements. Uh, so it's a great, um, a great die set. Just pop that to one side and I'm going to use those two um, those two stamps. Now you can see that um, they are discoloured but this is only the ink that reacts to it. Uh, it's not detrimental uh, to stamping. So these are the pieces that I'm going to use. So I shall start with the large poinsettia. And I'm going to use the real red ink and I'm going to stamp it onto the real red cardstock as well. And I'm also going to use the crumb cake. That's for uh, the berries. 
So we're going to stamp two of the large poinsettias and two of the small ones. So just to give your stamp a good ink and a firm press onto the cardstock without rocking and you'll get a good impression. So we just now need to die cut them out. Now to hold the die cut in place, I've used all sorts of things and normally it's um, either washi tape or uh, sticky note uh, pads, but I went into B&Q and spoke to somebody and the masking tape here, this frog tape, is for delicate services, so services, <laughs> it's for delicate surfaces and it's low tack. But one thing it is, it's very sticky and I wasn't sure, um, I wasn't sure if it would pull any of the card off and it's, it's brilliant. I'll just show you, stick it down. It will not move and then just pull it up and this, it doesn't take anything off. So I would definitely recommend it. So it's the frog tape and it's in the uh, yellow tub, which is low tack. I'm now going to die cut these and I'll be back in a minute. And here we are with the four cut out. So I'll just put those to one side and we're going to do the same with um, the holly. So we're using Evening Evergreen and the Evening Evergreen cardstock as well. And the smallest of the holly leaves. So we just need two of these and again we're going to down cut these and um, which I shall go and do now and I will be back in a minute. And there we are. So we'll pop these to one side and we're just going to stamp our berries now. So for this we're using white cardstock and the crumb cake. And we just want to stamp three of these. And then we need to, I'm just wiping the um, the stamp, then it doesn't, uh, the ink doesn't dry on it. So we just need the real red and the berries. And then just line the berries up. And then just press firmly. And I, I, I love, well I don't know what it is, I just love berries anyway. <laughs> um, but it's got the little highlights in as well, um, which look which look lovely. So they're nice and easy to do and um, very effective. It's a it's a fabulous stamp set. So again, we just need to um, die cut these out. I will just show you the uh, die. We we'll just pop it over, and then cut them out. So I'll be back again in a minute. And last but not least um, is the sentiment. It needs to be three quarter inch um, wide and longer than the actual sentiment. We're going to use real red and the Merry Christmas from, um, from the same set. So just, again, just ink it up. making sure that you've got um, a nice gap either side and then you can cut where you want uh, at the side of it. And just leave about, about a quarter of an inch, something like that. And I think that's all our pieces um, done. So we just need to bring everything back and arrange everything on the tag. These are the best bits when um, you've cut everything, stamped and cut everything out and um, it's assembly time. We need some glue dots and we need some dimensionals and our liquid glue. So on the back of... Um, this cut out, we just need to add uh, the glue. Don't go right to the edges because 
they actually overhang. And if you're using liquid glue, you just oops, you just get um a few settings just to kind of get it in place uh until you're happy with it. There we are. And now we need our uh, poinsettias, holly leaf and berries bag. And all these are going to be attached to the core uh, to the tag with um with glue dots. Just Pop it into the palm of your hand, each petal, and press in the centre and, <clears throat> excuse me, and cup. It will just put some movement into the flower. It will flatten a bit when we're putting everything together, but we can actually move the leaves uh, once it's on the tag. So we're going to take the glue dots and we're going to place them in the centre of um, the flower <clears throat> and just lay the petals on alternating um alternating the petals so usually these um usually stick to me rather than uh, the flower so just press down as you can see i've alternated the petals there and you're going to do this on each one oops I'll just pop this onto the back of there. And I find using glue dots is a lot easier than the liquid glue and <clears throat> it's secure enough um, for the flower as well. So we'll just add our last one. If any of the petals move, you can just uh, rearrange them. I'm all fingers and thumbs this morning. And then press down in the center when you've got them all on. And at this point, you can give the, give the um, petals a little bit of movement again. There. Then we're just going to arrange the leaves and berries onto the tag. You just place them where um, where you would like them. There's no specific um, way of doing it. Just have a play around and um, you can copy how I've done it if you want. But once you're happy with um, the arrangement, just take your poinsettia off and we're going to add a glue, just a single glue dot to each piece. I'm just going to pop it under that berry. And it doesn't really matter um, whereabouts you pop uh, the glue dot. And then one each under uh, the leaves. There we are. And then I'm just going to add a couple onto the back of uh, the poinsettia. Or me, whichever. <laughs> Sometimes they come off great and other times they just, I don't know, they just seem to, um, they just seem to stick to me. And again, press down into the centre and that will secure it nicely. For the Merry Christmas, you can have it straight, you can have it going across. Um, it's entirely up to you again. There's um, lots of places to pop it. Before we do, I'm just going to um, put these jewels into the centre. These are the... 2021-23 in colour jewels um, and this green looks lovely on this um, poinsettia 
everything I've used as well um, to make the bag and the tag I will list um, over in my blog so that you can have a look um, or you may want to purchase and you can purchase in my online shop so just the sticky bag so we don't need to mess about with glue I just need one more which I have over here I'm just going to move these again because I've just pressed uh, pressed them down while I was popping um, the centre on. There. So onto the back of the sentiment, I'm just going to add uh, some dimensionals. I'm actually going to double up on the dimensionals uh, just to lift it off even a little bit more. And then add another on top. Oops. If you'd like to place your sentiment uh, straight, then that's absolutely fine. You can you can put it uh, wherever you want. So we're nearly finished there, and I'm just making sure that uh, everything's touching. And I think. Uh, you'll agree it's um a very striking uh tag but look beautiful on any on any christmas gift or uh, bag so now we need to add some ribbon and this mini ruffled ribbon is um is so lovely and it's great for uh, bow bow tying So just, you always have to fiddle about. Um, just make it, get your loops um, till you're happy with them. And then just cut the ends. And then we need to attach this to the tag. And yes, we're going to use the glue dot here as well. These glue dots are um, a wonderful. <laughs> Now on the first bag, I, oh, that's a little bit long on that, um, that side. On the first bag, I added um, dimensionals to the back of the tag and then stuck it on the bag. But on this one, I think I'm just going to pop it under the clip. And I think it looks nice like that. So there we are, all finished. So as you can see, this one on the right, I've done it on an angle. Um, and this one, I've just done straight and secured it with the, with the clip at the top. So I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, I'd love you to give me a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment. That would be absolutely great. I will be back uh, very soon with another project. So hop over to my blog at thestampingground.co.uk and um, you'll be able to get the measurements there. So until the next time, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you very soon.